I'm Jamie, Port Vancouver Library's Experiential Learning Librarian. Today's Maker Project is all about building. We're going to make our own building materials to build structures. I'm going to be using some basic cereal box cardboard. Really flexible, lightweight. It's easy to cut, which is what I like, and it is a little bit of a more of a challenge to build with, so that's also great. Also, I'm going to use this pair of scissors. Really like to just cut cereal cardboard, so we'll, we'll see how this goes. I'm repurposing my cereal box that I used as a board game and also to learn some basic computer programming skills. I want to make these, I'm going to make a bunch of squares out of this. I don't want them this small because that's a little small, but I want them to be kind of all the same size. So I'm going to fold this piece of cardboard in half and then I'm going to unfold it, make a nice crease in the middle there. Then I'm going to fold the edge of this cardboard into here. And these creases are going to help kind of make me make equal sized squares. So I folded that one into the center. Then I'm going to fold this one into the center. My cutting skills aren't great, so I know these aren't going to be perfectly square, but that's okay. I'm trying to do the best I can. This is also how I build better skills with cardboard. I'm just gonna fold these folds a few times because it makes them a little bit easier to tear. Because I think I would much rather tear this than cut it. Because I can actually tear a little bit straighter than I cut, which is whatever it is. Okay, so we fold the creases and then we kind of tear them off. You can do it. Ooh, nice. One piece. Now what I'm going to do with my smaller is the same thing. I'm going to fold it in half. Do I want to make them any smaller than that? Nah, that's probably good. These are still going to be kind of rectangular, but that's okay. No worries. That's what I say. It's great to start with cardboard from cereal boxes too, because you can build a nice prototype, which is the first model of something. Once you get it figured out, you can move on to a new piece of cardboard. You can even try and use some thicker cardboard, like what delivery boxes are made out of. You can do lots of things. But when I'm just starting out, I always like to start with the simplest material. And cereal box cardboard is usually what I reach for. All right, so now we have some roughly the same shaped, tiny rectangles, almost squares. From here, you can start building with these. If you have some tape, or if you're really good at making cards, card houses, you can build this way. Woo! You can also try out some tape, either masking tape, the blue painter's tape, or even just some scotch tape. What I'm going to do though, because I don't want to use adhesive and I want to be able to build over and over and over again, I'm actually going to cut some slots into the four sides of my uh, squares. So I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut a little notch into it. It doesn't have to go very far into the cardboard. And we'll see once we try and slot these together if my slots are big enough. That's also the test. So I've taken two of them. Cut slots with my scissors, then I can just slot them together, like so. So now I have that, whatever that is. I wonder if I can just tear notches. Oh yeah, I can totally just tear notches in this too. And you can experiment putting your notches in different places. I need a corner one, that's what I need. Notch here in the corner. These two can slot together. Oh, maybe I need some more base structure. Okay. 
Yeah! You can see how tall of a structure you can build, how long of a structure you can build. The sky is the limit. Well, probably the ceiling in your house is the limit to how tall you can build something. Keep building and have fun. We hope to see you at the library soon. Until then, check out the library's website at www.fvrl.org. Bye!